Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching our news. At 11, I'm Mike Tank. After years of debate about proposed jail locations, officials have yet to lock down a location, but three new possible sites are now in the running. Tonight, county council members weighed in on where they believe the jail should be built. Taylor Williams was at the meeting and joins us now with what she's learned. Taylor. Yeah, I talked to the three newest members of the Vigo County Council, all of them excited to serve their community, and they are ready to tackle that jail issue. If the community was going to give us a big issue, it would be the jail. It's still the, uh, the jail. I think from a timing perspective, looking at what's coming out of the jail project. New years, new council members, but no new jail. The Vigo County Jail was on the minds of many during the county council's first meeting of the year, especially after commissioners announced Tuesday morning of three new contenders for the jail location. Commissioners are looking at the general areas of Spring Hill Drive, Hawthorne Avenue, and the old golf course behind Honey Creek Mall. I would be okay with the former golf course site, um, and as of late, that's where I, where I really thought we were going, but uh, as of now, I know as much as the public does on site selection and things like that. New County Councilman David Thomas feels the jail has been talked about enough and he wants action. Obviously, the closer the better. I think that works for everybody. Um, you know, I think the design is going to uh, hold that back somewhat. Councilwoman Lisa Spence Bennett wants more information before choosing a location. I personally would like to see that we've given consideration to whether we can combine uh, the police station with the sheriff's uh, operation and the jail. I don't know that that's still in the running. New county officials agree. They are ready for the task at hand, and they are willing to work together to plan Vigo County's future. Time is now to get firm, as firm as we can, on what some of those estimated costs are so that when the plan is a, a, approved for construction, we know we're on good, solid footing. We've seen that we're going to work together really well. A lot of smart people. Enthusiasm, I think, is important. It'll be a learning curve. There's no doubt about that. You know, like I say, it's, uh, it's great to finally get started. Now, commissioners must provide an update to the federal judge about the process to select on a new jail site by January 14th. County officials believe an update on the proposed site could happen as soon as Thursday. All right, thank you, Taylor. The county council also wants to better inform the public about the issues. They plan to simulcast their meetings, improve their website, and hold listening sessions outside of council meetings.